Hi guys, welcome back to Calc Fly videos. We're back with another video that is mainly about the 2019 AP Calculus question 2. Alright, in this problem we've got a particle P moving along the x-axis and the velocity of, the, of this particle P is given by the differentiable function of VP. All right, and also this particle p is at the origin at t equals zero, which means which means its initial position is zero. And the first problem it says justify where there must be at least one time t over this interval at which v p prime t, the acceleration of the particle p equals zero meters per hour per hour. So, actually, by the mean value theorem. We're looking for at least one C value over this uh, interval where the average rate of change, average rate of change is equal to the instantaneous rate of change. Instantaneous rate of change. So what is average rate, average rate of change formula? It is on this interval, it's going to be VP of 2.8 minus VP of 0 0.3 divided by 2.8 minus 0 0.3 and this average rate, rate of change has to be equal to the instantaneous rate of change of velocity which is VP prime of T. Okay, so let's calculate that. So this expression is going to be equal to 55 minus 55 divided by 2.5 equals vp prime of t and the top expression is going to be equal to 0 so 0 divided by 2.5 is going to be also 0 so as a result vp prime of t is going to be equal to 0 so we got this there's at least one c value that is going to that is going to make this um, acceleration of the particle p, which is vp prime of t equal to zero. We got this. All right, part b. And as part b, we're being asked to find the trapezoidal sum with three sub intervals to approximate the value of this definite integral. All right, so let's do it. It's pretty much applying the area formula for trapezoid. Okay, so integral from 0 to 2.8 vp of t dt it's going to be equal to 0 0.3 times vp 0 plus vp of 0 0.3 divided by 2 like we're just applying the area of trapezoids like top base plus bottom base divided by 2 times the height and plus 1.4 times VP of 0 0.3 plus VP of 1.7 divided by 2. The last one. 1.1 times VP of uh, 1.7 plus VP of 2.8 divided by 2. All right, let's calculate all these. So I'm going to erase this part. So when I erase this part... So this expression, bottom expression, is going to be equal to here, 0 0.3, 0 plus 55 divided by 2, plus uh, 1.4 um, times 55 minus 29, 55 minus 29 divided by, actually, this is divided by, plus 1.1 times negative 29 plus 55 divided by 2. Okay, so if we calculate this expression, and if we simplify this expression, we get 40.75. Okay, that's the answer using the trapezoidal approximation. All right, so far we did uh, part A and part B. That's all about the particle P. And we're given the velocity of the particle P. In part A, uh, we applied the mean value theorem. In part B, we've applied the uh, trapezoidal sum to approximate this 
definite integral. All right, so let's move on to part C. In part C, we got another particle, which is particle Q, also moves along the x-axis, so its velocity over this time interval is given by this function. So this is the velocity function for particle Q. So it says find find the time interval during the during which the velocity is particle Q is at least 60 meters per hour. 60 meters per hour. And find the distance traveled by particle Q during the interval when the velocity of the particle Q is at least 60 meters per hour. All right, we want the velocity of particle Q is at least 60. All right. So basically, uh, this expression is true for, the solution of this expression is true for A is less than or equal to T, less than or equal to B, where A is equal to 1.8. 866 and B is equal to 3.519. All right, so we got this. All right, we've got the time interval where the velocity of particle Q is at least 60, so which is my time interval. A is less than or equal to T, less than or equal to B, where A value is 1.866 and B value is 3.5. One so we've got the first part of the problem. So let's move on to the second part of the problem. It says, find the distance traveled by a particle Q during the interval when the velocity of particle Q is at least 60 meters. So we've got the upper and the lower limit, all right? So basically what are we going to do is from A to B, we're going to calculate this definite integral from, this is Q, so absolute value of vq of t dt okay so when we calculate this definite integral we're going to come up we're going to come up with this answer 106.109 so my reasoning about the solution of this problem part c is the distance traveled the distance traveled by particle q by particle Q during the time interval during the time interval a less than or equal to t less than or equal to b is 106.109 meters okay that's part c all right let's move on to part d and part d it says uh at time t equals to zero the particle of Q is at position negative 90. Okay, so basically x q of 0 is equal to negative 90. All right, so using the result from part B, the function vq from part C, approximate the distance between particles P and Q at time t equals 2.8. All right, so before that, I need to clean up this board. So if I clean up this board, What are we going to do is first, so we're going to calculate the position of the particle at t equals 2.8. So the x p of 2.8 is going to be equal to, since this is going to be accumulation, we're going to be using the definite integral from 0 to 2.8 vp of t dt. And this result is going to be approximately equal to 40.75. If you remember that, we got this answer from part A. From part A, part B, I'm sorry, as a result of trapezoidal approximation. Then we need to evaluate this position, um, the particle Q at 2.8. And that's going to be equal to initial position, which is XQ of 0 plus from 0 to 2.8 vq of t dt and this expression is going to be equal to negative 90 plus 135.938 and this is going to be equal to 45.938 so basically my answer that i'm looking for is the distance between them is the is how how apart they are from each other okay so basically that's going to be equal to 
x q of 2.8 minus x p of 2.8 is going to be equal to uh, 45.938 minus 40.75 and this result is going to be equal to 5.188 so basically at this time 2.8 are exactly 5.188 meters apart all right guys in this video we've talked about question 2 from the AP calculus 2019 free response portion and then we did four problems and we've applied trapezoidal sum we made the application of mean value theorem and also we've used accumulation for calculating the distances and the positions all right thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe share like and comment bye bye